Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 60 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Enigmatica series, where I'm hanging out in the Undergarden, and I found a catacombs last episode, and I'm excited to check it out today. Now, based on what I'm hearing, and based on the map, which I think, I thought that was going to zoom in, but it didn't. Ah! There's a lot of bad guys around. Look at that map. Yeah, definitely a lot of bad guys around. So, let's go down to the catacombs and see what's in store for us. So, this is the main level. I don't know how deep it goes. I remember I remember exploring the catacombs in the last in my in my in my Let's Play series where, you know, in the Dial 20 mod pack, but I don't remember it being quite like this. So I'm wondering if this is one of the things that got changed or tweaked or updated as the catacombs is a little bit more fleshed out now. I can't tell for sure. But uh, we should we should do our torch thing that we always do, right? So I can track where I've been. It's a little bit hard because some of the walls are stairs. <laughs> so it's like making it difficult to do that. Now I believe that I brought some extra torches with me. Not as many as I probably should have brought. But you know, it's dire. He's never entirely prepared. So I'm just going to explore this world gen structure. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to be like, you know, five minutes worth of exploration or a whole episode worth of exploration. But I guess we'll figure it out. Hello, sir. No, thank you. Pass. Now, are these smoke blocks the kind you can break by chance? Nope. They just break directly into deep rock. Is that what it's called? Deep depth rock. <laughs> Can't wait for the comments on that one. Uh, deep Throck, Dyer says. I know. Look, I, I very briefly glanced at it, and hello, what are you? Oh, you're the guardian thing. Hey, we found our guardian, dude. Forgotten guardian. Oh, wow, he is very much almost dead. Now, here's the problem with forgotten guardians. Well, number one... Do they count as bosses? I'm gonna say yes, because of all the junk we just got in our inventory. Um, because all that junk means that he counted as a boss, right? Um, because the trinket I have drops dungeon loot when you kill bosses. So I feel like he counts as a boss and therefore may not be capturable and, and spawnable with a mob imprisonment tool. Because mob imprisonment tools don't work on bosses, right? I believe that to be true. I believe that to be true. Now, is there one boss per catacomb here, or may I find more? Whoa, hello. Well, we found a spawner room. That's cool. Now, hopefully you guys do not spawn in well-lit areas. There's a rotling spawner and a rotwalker spawner. I might, I might waypoint... Spawners one, just under the assumption that I may have found other spawners at some point. So not much down this way. Something down this way. Nothing too exciting. I'd like to find another one of those arcane golem dudes, but if I don't, I don't. Well, I'm hearing something, so that's kind of promising. Is this another spawner room? Yeah, but there's no spawners in it. Oh, nice. Clogromax with some enchants on it. Let's put away some of the junk that we've accumulated thus far. Hello, sir. Trying to be a little conservative with torches. Oh my, we are finding a lot. A lot of these little spawner rooms. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say we don't need to mark all of them, obviously. Catacombs are cool, dude. I'm just saying. Oh. Gloom gourd pie. And some regalium nuggets. Alright. 
All right, so this place already went down. That might be the same spawner room from last time now that I'm thinking about it. Did I just come into a giant circle? I don't think so, did I? No, because I had to light the room up, right? So yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, look at this place. Doesn't this look like some kind of like centrally area? It's cool, right? I love the poison liquid flowing into everything. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll snag some music discs. Can't hurt. I definitely feel like the catacombs are more fleshed out than the last time I was here. You guys are gonna have to, you know, die in his memory sometimes. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to tell me if that's accurate. Walkers don't seem to be hurt at all by this poison. Sweet. Hey, is that? It is. One of the rock beasts. Cool. I also really like the looter mod because you know which chests you've already looted. Like, that's pretty cool, right? A few more torches, but then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out a torch solution here at some point. And that solution might involve Dyer going back home. It might involve finding some of that coal stuff underground. We'll see. <laughs> Unbreaking five. Shovel. Nice. Instigating. Oh my, look at this thing. Efficiency 4. Uh, when, since when does it show you what's equipped? I guess it's... Is that normally happening? Is that Did that literally just show up or am I crazy? So I feel like I wasn't seeing that before, but maybe... Maybe it's because I didn't have a weapon equipped. Maybe I, when I opened them before it was like this. Yeah, maybe that's why. That's cool though. I don't remember seeing that equipped comparison thing pop up. I guess it's only if you're holding a tool, which makes sense. You know, I never, I, I did a lot of things in modded Minecraft that I played with. I never, I never did much with world gen. So I don't know how complex it is to build like an underground structure like this. I know there's code in, in the code base for things like obviously the, um, the the nether structures right and like you know so there's definitely some structures um i think you could probably look at how they do uh the end with some of like the the airships and whatnot oh, that's neat but still it's super cool nice to to walk through a world gen structure like this because this was this was I'm not going to say randomly generated, but, like, my understanding of how these structures work is there's probably pieces of the structure that get strung together and in some form of an intelligible way. But like I said, I've never personally done any code on like that myself. Nice. So we found, like, the boss of this temple pretty quickly, I feel like. I would I would love to find another one. Because it would mean that you can get more than one per, per thing, right? And that would be cool. This place is big, though. 
like really big. All right, so that's lit up a bit. That's all lit up a bit. This is not. Hello, new place. If you say so. What do we got here? A Fortune 3. Not bad. Alright, let's put all this junk away. I'm gonna hang on to the coal. feel like that's a smart move, right? At this point, I'm less concerned with breaking those uh, spawners. Curse of Vanishing. Ugh. Vorpal. Vorpal's alright. Let's go this way first. Nothing too exciting down this path. But more dungeon loot chests. Oh, yeah. Breaking the chest will delete your unique. You, can, you must sneak while doing so. Sweet. Hell infusion. And that would be the end of my torches. Uh, I have coal. I just don't have sticks. And that would be kind of my problem right now. Part of me wants to, uh, and I'm just spitballing here, say that we've explored. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There is another Forgotten Guardian here. Well, that's kind of sweet. So now my question becomes, now we know for sure that you could have more than one Forgotten Guardian. Oh, wow. He doesn't, he doesn't, he does not get hurt by arrows. You can have more than one Forgotten Guardian. Oh, and he applies slowness four? Ouch. Um, more than one Forgotten Guardian. Holy cow, look at all the cork tomes we got. Plus one loyalty, up to a max of four. Fire aspect, smite, up to a max of eight. Nine, eight. Eight, I can count. A lot of cork tomes. It's cool though, right? I like that. I wonder, I wonder if he's in any way farmable. Uh, what I should do is go back home, get a mob imprisonment tool, come back, see if we can find another catacombs, explore it, look for one of those dudes, and that would be neat. Let's do that. Let's slash home right now. Hello, world! Uh, and what we're going to do is a... We want a uh, mob imprisonment tool. Yes, yes, start. And I'll be back in a minute. Once I get that. And I would be remiss if I didn't get more torches while I was here, right? I'm just saying. Oh, man, my bricks thing isn't connected again. Oh, well, I'm not going to lose sleep over it right now. Uh, that and that, and we got our mob imprisonment tool. I think I am going to jetpack now, by the way, though. Uh, and I should apply the same enchants to my jetpack that I have on my armor, because that would just be cool to do. Um, but yeah, let me, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to now jetpack around the Undergarden. Now, clearly, we started exploring to the northwest. Let's head, like, southeast-ish and see if we can't find another catacombs here. Have I killed one of you yet? A glomper? A gloomper? Ah, he's poisonous. I know that now. But the plan will be to explore this place a little bit. I think I'm going to mostly explore off camera though. If I find a new biome or something cool or new, I will come back and tell you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna look around like this for the next few minutes until I find another catacombs. This place is different, what's this? Barren Abyss. Dude, how weird is this place? It's like, it's like, it's like a forest spawned in the middle of a lake. That's about all I can say about that. It's super weird. Super weird. I'm trying to fly around towards, like, in the, like, at low Y levels. Because I assume that catacombs are typically at the lower Y levels, right? Like, they're not going to be floating in the sky. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I didn't even look to see what Y level we were at before. I probably should have. More of the big guys. 
All right, like I said, exploration off camera. We're going to see if I can capture it. I suspect I can't because I believe they're probably flagged as bosses, and that will probably mean I can't pick them up. But I would be remiss if I did not try. I found a catacombs. Huzzah! I think it was maybe five seconds after I stopped recording the last segment. Like, I, yeah, we'll be, you know, and then boom, catacomb. All right, so we got to go find the ancient doohickey. Hello, friends. Goodbye to you guys. And because I'm not looking to, like, fully explore this place, I just want to look around until we find what I'm looking for. I will snag a few things, clearly, and probably put a few things away. Whoosh and whoosh. But what we want... Oh, this is different, right? This is a different little room that we were in. Smog stem door, a little cauldron. That's cool. This is like a jail system. That's kind of awesome. We did not encounter one of those last time, did we? Definitely not. I heard what sounded like the breaking of blocks. Which leads me to wonder, like, is that a, like one of the bosses that breaks blocks when he walks around, or...? I mean, I can't not loot the chests. Maybe I can. I want some of the cool stuff. Knowledge of the Ages 5, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Sweet. Should we wait until I find? Yeah, I think what I'll do is I will come back in a few minutes once I find one of these boss dudes. Ooh, and I'm also out of food, so maybe I should start saving some of that food that I find. Because <laughs> I'm straight up out of food at this point, and that's probably bad. I'm gonna go fight a boss now with no food. Alright, yes, we'll be back in a minute once I do the thing. At least the gloom pies are pretty good. You know, I, ch I found like five chests since I was recording last, and none of them had food in them. I'm like, just my- literally I had like stacks of food. And that's the downside, obviously. Do I hear thudding? That's the downside, obviously, to having that self-feeding thing that's also not auto-refillable. Um, I wonder if there's like an automation way that I wonder if any of like the the player chest type items have a way to interact with your bauble slots like that or whatever they're called now. Whatever these inventories, curio slots, curio slots, bobbles, curios, you know what they are. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But yes, I've been very mildly unlucky with the <laughs> with the loot in those chests now. All right, I've also been mildly unlucky in finding a boss. Where are you at, boss? I think these things got us food, right? Yeah. They're not eaten yet. I wonder what they taste like. Anyway, continuing to explore. Be right back. All right, I found a lot more chests now, which is nice. I found a whole section of this. this. These catacombs are big. Let me just put that out there. These catacombs are really big. Uh, yeah. And I found a nice section of them that I had not yet explored. I mean, I'll take on breaking five. Sure, why not? Uh, and I'm just looking for... Hello, muncher. 
I'm just looking for the boss at this point. That was a weird sounding thing. I'm only a little concerned because like at the end of the last catacomb, there was there was a boss literally inside the walls that broke out. And now I'm like, is that a thing that I need to be like am I should I be concerned that there's a boss that I missed because he's hiding inside a wall somewhere? I'm trying really hard to I'm Trying really hard to keep an eye out for that. Pretty sure I've been in there already. But I found no bosses in this catacomb, so I'll let you know if I find one. All right, I think I heard some lock breaking. I think that that buzzing. I oh yep, definitely. I heard that mm sound, and I was like, I think that's him. So can I capture you? That is the question of the ages. The answer is no, obviously. All right, didn't think so. It was worth a try. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh wow, does he hurt? He hurts a lot when I'm not, you know, ready for him. I should probably have this equipped. Uh, is there anything else I should try doing in terms of capturing him? I can't think of anything else, so I think I'm just gonna kill him and get myself some forgotten nuggets and slash home. So should we try this thing out? I mean, because I can just go get my enchants again. Because if this guy is a default 8 damage and the other one's a default 10 damage, I feel like... That's pretty cool. Are there any other swords that are, like, even more ridiculous? Uh, there's the Neptunium sword from Aquaculture 2, but that's also 10 damage. So that's cool. What else do we got here? Uh, there's the Forgotten sword, which is 10 damage. Somebody yell if I miss something. I'm sure, I'm sure I will. 10.1. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna over 10.1. Iron is 11. That's a little bit nice. Iron Greatsword? Where do you even get one of those? I guess this is like one of those things you have to find. So it's probably extremely hard to do that. Now these are all Tinkers, it looks like. So I'm going to say this might be one of the better swords you can get. Because um, it's even better than Refined Obsidian, right? Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. So I'll take this. I'll take the Forgotten Sword. So what we want to get, if we want to make this, is a Clogram Sword which is going to need some Clogram ore. Now, do you, by chance, get chewed up by little guy down here? Hello, friend. Long time no see. Oh, he very anxiously wanted to get that item. There you go. I think the answer is yes. And then it's smelting. Yeah, it is. Nice. Easy peasy. Well, that's going to be more clogger more than we'll ever need in our life. Okay. Um, and then, in addition to that, we're going to want a nugget of this to turn into this, and that should be cool. Sweet. What now is? I don't know. What now is? There you go. Forgotten sword. Sweet. Now... Let's go get a bunch of enchants, shall we? Um, so what we're gonna want is soulbound, mending, uh, unbreaking, right? Did I not get soulbound on my? Okay, cool. Thorns? No, we don't need that. Um, was this it? Sharpness, looting, capturing, sweeping edge, vorpal. It's gonna be a good time, isn't it? All right, so let's go shut down all these enemies and be ready to do the thing. Cool. Uh, you're going to go here with all the books pretty much just stacked here. If I can get them not to be picked up. That should be everybody. And then our wand of the forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven enchants? Seems right to, it should have been eight, but I guess one of them didn't fit on there. Guess we'll find out which one. Man, look how much mana we're draining. <laughs> 
But look, our tablet is doing its exact job, which is awesome. Can I just put out there that that automation has been running for how many episodes now and is still working? So I'm going to call that a win. And look at this cool sword that we've got now. Boom. That looks awesome. So overall 14.5 damage, definitely plus two. Um, so I'm going to put you away. What enchant didn't go on you? Vorpal, looting, unbreaking, sweeping, sharpness, capturing, mending. Did soulbound not go on here? I guess that's the one. I guess soulbound isn't allowed on swords. I thought soulbound could go on everything. I thought it could go on anything and everything. What's cool is it kind of almost looks like a diamond sword, but it's like, is it bigger? Is it bigger than a diamond sword? I feel like it is. Vorpal, looting, unbreaking is for everybody. Sweeping edge, sharpness. Soulbound is for everybody. Capturing and mending is for everybody. So you'll get mending, that sounds good. Capturing, sharpness, sweeping edge, looting, vorpal. Nice. All right, so that's a pretty spiffy sword. I should look at getting a better bow too. Is there any kind of like super fancy bow? Aquaculture has a Neptunium bow. Makes arrows go through water smoothly. That's kind of nice. Um, there's the Enchanter's bow. Do bows have, dam like do all bows do the same damage? I don't even know. There's the Terra Bow from Batania Editions. That's almost kind of cool. We'll have to maybe do that. Um, what are these things? I don't recognize these at all. That's blood magic? Has blood magic gotten new things since I've last played? Oh my goodness, what are these? These are new, right? I've not seen these on blood magic. Demon alternator? Demon emitter? I don't recognize this stuff. Well, they don't have crafting recipes, so that's a thing. These do all, though. That's kind of cool. Grants additional looting on weapons? That's in, oh, neat. I don't know what any of that stuff is. That's newish. Charges? These are new. See, I get distracted. I see, I see new toys and mods that I like, and I'm like, what? Is this new? Dungeon doors? What? The, what? Are there dungeons in Blood Magic now? Tome of Blood. That's a mod called Tome of Blood. Okay, what's the Tome of Blood mod? Blood Scroll. Tome of Blood has no recipe. Blood gem. Huh. I wonder. Uh, both of these items were Ars Nouveau-ish. I wonder if. I wonder if this is an Ars Nouveau kind of add-on. That's kind of cool. Tome of blood, huh? I wonder if that's like an add-on for. Tome of Blood mod. I need to look at that real quick because that sounds interesting. Tome of Blood mod. Uh, yeah. So basically it lets you cast Ars Nouveau spells using your soul network's power. Cool. So basically it's an Ars Nouveau mod. Like it's, you can use Ars Nouveau spells, but rather than using mana from Ars Nouveau, it uses blood from your LP network. That's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. I am definitely interested in some of the things that are new here. Because some of this looks different. I haven't seen a lot of these things before. There's a lot of stuff that's new to me in Blood Magic. I, I, I feel like we're going to have to check that out soon. I do. I do. I feel like we're going to have to check it out soon. But I'm going to say not today. Because today it is wrapping up point. Well, now it's wrapping up point for today. Today was, um, you know, just checking out the Undergarden again. Looks like, it looks to me and it feels to me like those catacombs have been expanded and we got a nice sword out of the deal that does even more damage than our last one so i got that going for me which is nice um did we get a sharp no we did not get a sharpness so that can bring me up to a max of eight for the record a max of eight because right now my sharpness is seven this would be eight if i could find an ancient tome with sharpness on it increases damage dealt uh, i mean kind of cool uh, what, what, what kinds of ancient tomes did we get? We got 
loyalty, smite, reptide, and fire aspect. Okay, so nothing too exciting. Anyway, wrapping up point for the episode. Devil Toy signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Maybe Blood Magic? Just to see what the new stuff is like? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, guys. Take it easy.